with Sean Hickey now, the Orange is uh, left tackle for the past uh, couple of seasons, and uh, Sean, you had been uh, to the combine. This has really been an ongoing uh, process for you now for weeks and months, right? Uh, getting ready for your NFL uh, tryouts in the future. Yeah, it's been going good. Uh, I have had five private workouts. I have a sixth one coming up soon with individual line coaches. Every single one of them's went really well. Um, this came up here, been training for this for a long time. Uh, need to get the officials. Like they don't. Sure. At the combine, you have like an official time here. You don't really it's just whatever team clocks he has. Uh-huh. Like so, we'll see uh, at the end when Coach Six gets all the information. But for the most part, it's a pretty good day. Twenty-six individual scouts here representing twenty-five teams, and the difference I think in what you're saying is instead of it being, uh, you know, on a computer system, they're kind of comparing notes after the fact, huh? Yeah. So like one guy might have you at like a certain number, but another guy has you a little slower, a little faster, and you kind of just trade stuff. So like there's no official official times, but you get an idea of what you were. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, later on tomorrow when I get more information. Your body of work is out there because you've played so much, number one. Uh, Number two, you went to Indianapolis. So uh, coming into today's events, what did you hope to accomplish? I wanted to get, first off, the most important thing was getting through it healthy uh, because through the combine, I did not run through a a tweaked hamstring. And training training went well, but still running a 40 on a hamstring and you just get a little nervous. So just getting through it healthy with a respectable time. It might not have been a personal best, but as long as it was within a certain range and uh, and I got out of it healthy, it was a win. And just through the some of the um, like short shuttle three cone, just show the athleticism, show like good times, and sure. they all went pretty well. So I'm happy about it. Sounds like bench press went pretty well for you again today. Yeah, just tired out a little quicker even than I wanted to. So, well, um, like a couple of weeks ago, I got 42, and that was on video. Today, I got 38. Failed on 39. Just, it, it just happens. It, it comes day to day. Are you finding in your conversations with these teams that that stuff matters to them, or are they weighing uh, your conversation, your uh, your work on film here at Syracuse? Uh, position drills are important, uh, as in the um, probably the most important things you go through the private workouts with the O line coach, just because they get to see how, how much you know football, then they get to see you do drills. And you might be taught one thing by one coach, and the next workout, another coach comes in and tells you another thing. Sure. So you have to be able to adapt on the fly and be able to respond to coaching how they want it. And that's an important key because there is no universal way to play offensive line. Everybody has their philosophies. Everybody has their own type of techniques. So you just have to be able to respond to how each coach teaches it. If you're able to do that, it's a, it's a pretty good trait. You're obviously bright enough to pick it up. You know, Durrell is from Miami and said he would uh, go to the desert or Alaska or wherever there was an NFL team if that's what it took. Uh, you are uh, well known as a uh, Pittsburgh Steeler uh, family and season ticket holder. Um, well, how are you finding it as you're meeting these other coaches and GMs, and, and uh, where do you see you fitting? Anywhere. Anywhere that once they give me an opportunity, I'm ready to go. Right. Looking forward to it. Uh, we'll wish you the best of the draft coming up in a couple of weeks, okay? Thanks. I appreciate it.